long-lasting conditions and health care for people with learning disabilities. People with learning disabilities experience health inequalities. They often have poor health, lots of health problems, and they die at a younger age than people without learning disabilities. Many of these health problems could be prevented. There are gaps in what is known about the health and health care of adults with learning disabilities. However, some health conditions are more common for people with learning disabilities than for other people. The aim of this project was to compare the health and care of people with learning disabilities with that of the rest of the population. The Quality Outcomes Framework was developed by the General Medical Council to provide better information on common health conditions and how these are treated. The Quality Outcomes Framework asks doctors to record if people have certain long-lasting health problems. It also reminds doctors to do certain health checks for people with these conditions. We wanted to find out if these checks were being done as often for people with learning disabilities as they are for other people. We also wanted to find out how common different health conditions were for people with learning disabilities and to compare this with the rest of the population. This would tell us if the kinds of illnesses that people with learning disabilities experience it was different from other people. The Quality Outcomes Framework contains a list of common long-lasting health problems. This included conditions such as cancer, stroke, diabetes, asthma and heart problems. So how did we do this project? Information was collected from the doctors of people with learning disabilities who agreed to take part in the project. This information was compared to people who didn't have learning disabilities. 721 adults with learning disabilities from Glasgow agreed to take part. So what did we find out? We found that more people with learning disabilities had conditions such as heart problems, epilepsy, diabetes, asthma and poor mental health. Also, more people with learning disabilities had problems with their thyroid, which is a part of the body that helps to manage the body's energy levels. If the thyroid isn't working properly, it can make us feel very tired and weak and can also cause us to put on weight or lose weight. We found that the biggest difference was for epilepsy. 28 out of every 100 people with learning disabilities had epilepsy, compared to less than one person out of every 100 in the general population. We discovered that the care of health problems wasn't as good for people with learning disabilities compared to other people. We found that people with learning disabilities were around four times less likely to be getting good quality care for their health problems than other people. This was found for a number of health conditions, including epilepsy, diabetes, high blood pressure, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which causes difficulty breathing, asthma, hypothyroidism, also known as an underactive thyroid, which can make you feel tired and put on weight, and heart failure, where the heart struggles to pump blood around your body properly. Doctors are very busy in their job, but they always try to provide the best care possible for everyone, including people with learning disabilities. They take care of everyone in the community, but people with learning disabilities face extra challenges and more health problems than other people. This can mean that some of their health problems can go unnoticed for a long time. This study is important because it gives us more information about the types of health problems that are common for people with learning disabilities. The project points to things that can be done to make the health and care of people with learning disabilities better. In England and Wales, people with learning disabilities are offered very detailed health checks every year. Other projects have shown that health checks can save money and improve the health of people with learning disabilities. These types of health checks for people with learning disabilities are not available in Scotland. The things we found out in this project have been published in the Journal of Applied Research and in Intellectual Disabilities. The Scottish Learning Disabilities Observatory does research about the health and healthcare needs of people with learning disabilities. Information about all our projects is available on our website.